few additional things, a few additional tools you can add to the form. Uh, the first one is radio buttons, so buttons which allow a user to check or click on one button to make a choice uh, from a selection. And we're going to use one of the Spry tools again, so we get some extra validation from it. And there's one called Spry Validation Radio Group. So I'm going to click on that. Um, actually, before I do that, let's just cancel it. I'm just going to put a label at the top. So this one I'm going to do for gender. So it's going to radio button where they can either select male or female. So this is some additional information the user can send us. So let's once again, so I've got the label underneath it. I'm just going to put the radio group and I need to change the lane, name. And the way you set up the radio buttons is just click on the label and then type what the label is. And this thing called value is what's sent back to the server. We're not going to use it at the moment, but it's good practice just to set a value. So a single character sent back. M for male, F for female. So let's have a see what that looks like. OK, so we've got our radio buttons will appear and they can click on one of those. And let's just click on the blue spry label and down to property inspector we've got some um, attributes we can change for this. First of all, tick on it should be clicked by default required. That'll force the user to put something in there and validate on blur which will mean the validation happens um, whenever the user goes onto a field that's past it. But that's just the two things required, validate and blur. Uh, so now I've got a working radio button which we can test to make sure it works okay and we've got let's just make sure this validation is passed so let's put in a email address and we press submit and it comes back telling us we've got to make a selection in our radio buttons and when we do it should work fine okay so the radio buttons are working OK. Now I'm going to add um, some checkboxes. Now checkboxes are different than radio buttons because they allow you to select more than one option. With a radio button you can choose one or the other or one out of a selection of radio buttons. But on checkboxes the user can select more than one. I'm going to use this checkboxes for allowing the user to tell us what type of massage they require and they may want to select more than one. So I'm going to put a label, put a space underneath it and this time I look for not the spry one but there is a simpler tool I'm going to use which is checkbox group. I click on it very similar to the radio buttons the first label is going to be Indian head massage and I'm going to put an eye in the value for that second one could be Swedish and it's S. Uh, we need to add another one so just press on the plus symbol and I forgot no it's Reiki so Reiki is the last one they could have and that's an R press OK and there we have it so now we've got radio buttons and checkboxes which can be used on our form